صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق من زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرهام إن الله كان عليكم رتيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يسلح لكم أعمالكم ويجفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يشاء الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوضا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الأديس كتاب الله وخير الأدي أدي محمد وشر الأمور مؤدساتها وكل مؤدسة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, إن شاء الله uh, we'll be reminding ourselves this morning about the word of Allah uh, as to a saint to Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, we have discussed a lot and about many topics uh, in different uh, different uh, perspective and uh, regarding anything that has to do with our ibadah and act of uh, supplication, ablution and all that. So let us use today to talk about uh, bidya, uh, innovation and the evil stronging around it. When we are talking about bidya, why is it that uh, essential that is a must to know many muslims today we don't know the implication of when we say something is bidya what we just understand about the deen what majority understand about the deen is just that islam is whoever anybody that prays once you are praying so that the definition of of some people is that you are a Muslim and it is only a Muslim that prays a lot indeed but don't be surprised when you see some Christian in Mecca in Hajj during the time of Hajj that they just went there to just go and do a uh, uh, tour tourism just go there even they can join you supplicating and all that it happens maybe two years ago during the age it was showed on uh, Facebook that time when they are praying eight Salat there is a particular woman as they are praying, he was just snapping. As, his, as she recalled, she was snapping, doing video like this, doing like this, doing like this. Like, people are like, ah, see, Muslim of this century. I was just like, she might not be a Muslim. Maybe her family are Muslims. So, and he went to their family's house for, because of Salah. So now said, let me just follow them to eat because nobody had told me again. So because as a Muslim, She's supposed to know that at that present, at that uh, moment, it is a place uh, of supplication where to pray and pray and ask Allah for his name. So there are many like that, but there are some as well, they claim to be Muslim. And it, if you ask a Muslim that what are the identifiers of faith in Islam, the majority of the Muslim do not know. But the only thing that we know, we know what identifies ablution. We know what nullifies fasting. That in Ramadan, no, if you are fasting, you must not eat enough to know. So even some people will go to the extent of, extent of saying you must not even cause. Once you cause someone like this, your fasting don't swear with that. So some even say yeah, you must not lie. You, if you lie like this, enough to know your fasting don't swear with that. Because we are afraid of losing the reward of that fasting. Even I, 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 I know somebody, whenever I, whenever I even pollute the year like this, you go and do ablution. It's not time for Salah to, because you believe that as you pollute the year, it's no more clean again. So you have to go and do ablution. So people are looking for a way to do things accordingly. But the foundation that we are all doing all this on top, according to... Uh, at this, at this five, you see that this five or at this three, Rohan, where's Rohan? You are your right now. That's a at this of a Dunya Islam Allah comes. You shall this. It's at this three or five. Dunya Islam Allah comes. Inshallah, Allah Ilaha Illallah. 
Adi swat. Adi stiri. In the Nawawi, uh, that the pillar of Islam it is five, and it is on all these pillar that everything that we want to do are performed. So, who is the narrator of the Hadith? Who the, not the narrator. Who, the, who brought the Hadith and who? Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah Ibn Umar Abi. Yes, so it's the one that uh, narrated the hadith that the Prophet he had him saying that the pillar of Islam is what is a shahada. I know you too, I deliberately asking you so that I can find a means to beat you today, new. But I can see you are serious with it. <laughs> so I have told them that in the most like this, I'll be touching them one by one. So, shahada to Allah, ila illallah, wa anna Muhammadan abdu wa rasulu wa ikamu salat. Waitawu Zakat, Wasomu Ramadan. That Somu Ramadan is the word, is the fourth uh, uh, pillar, followed by Aj. All these five pillars, there is just only one that supersedes all of them. And if that one is not applied or one fail to do the one, to, to understand the one accordingly, all the remaining four will be jeopardized. That is what, that is Tawhid. That is Shahada to Allah ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammadah Rasulullah. That is that first pillar. If that one is it is uh, jeopardized, not well strong, wallahi, all other ibadah that one is doing is just it's like you say, uh, you know, when you are pulling corn at the back of Kalabash, you know it will not stay, we just be we just be falling down. That is, the, that is the, the, the similitude of those that are praying, supplicating, fasting without sound Tawhid. So it is very important to know the Tawhid. But what nullifies Tawhid, part of it is Bidya. Because when you are talking about Bidya, definitely you are referring to Shirik. When you say Bidya, we are referring to Shirik. Shirik directly goes to Tawhid. Why Bidya directly goes to the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad? Talk. When I say talking about Bidya, I had somebody saying that using of Facebook, using of phone too is Bidya. Because it is, an, it is a new something. And the Prophet did not even use it. If you see the way people are identifying, are defining Bidya today, you say no, <laughs> don't be like that though. Allah said in the Quran, that Allah said that uh, that us that we used to uh, carry that time, during the time of the Prophet, there's nothing like that. It is Kamel and uh, us. Allah said that you see those Fomba, they are for what? To be climbing them, to be using them to your, for your journey. Allah now promised that that in Allah we still create what you don't even know. He was telling them that time. He was telling the Muslim of that time of the, of the, the, the prophet era that in Allah we still create another thing that you will be taking you to your on your journey to everywhere you want to go. And that thing you don't know it. Allah did not create motto during the time of the prophet. All these Sahabi, they never see car in their life. Before their own generation end, the fourth generation, second, third, fourth, like that. But in our own time now, we are using motor, we are using cars, we are using Android phone, we are using many applications and all that. But don't forget the verse, so Allah continue our continuation. Allah will still create something else again. That this our own generation will not even experience. The time will come, what they will be Taking to the, the, the carrying, we will be driving, we will not even be motor. It can be something else, I mean, very multiple. As an example, they show something recently that it was like a plane in the sky. But this plane, there is not for traveling to different countries. It is just like if you want to go and join yourself in the sky. So all of you will just assemble there, they will park in the sky there. To just pass, and then it has like 12 or 14 or 16 engines so that if one is 40 
and that one will be continue working. So they can, he said you can spend like four weeks or one week in the sky. It will have swimming pool. It will have hotel. It will have a uh, bar. Anything you want in this uh, service of art that you are enjoying here, they want to program the thing that you'll be enjoying this day. They have not launched it though, but they are, they are, they, they, they are trying to work on it. Likewise, let us look at the man called Elon Musk. Elon Musk is, uh, they say, he's the richest man in the world. And this man, Kuma, does not believe in the existence of Allah. He's all this uh, atheist. doesn't believe that somebody is somewhere that is God, or as he used to call it. It's not in his own dictionary. He was even trying to do many things. He said he wants to create human beings. He wants to even do something like memory. And when they insert it in the human's brain like this, everything you have done since you are young, you remember everything. So, you know, it's his own uh, world now for a shaitanic uh, world with that one. He's now trying to even create uh, a, a guest house in another planet. If you want to travel, maybe like $100,000 per night, they'll carry you to another planet in the sky, long, 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 inside, inside, to go and sleep. Just to go and sleep and enjoy yourself. So, time will come as that. That what will be happening will be very different from what we experience during our own time. At this time of the prophet and the Sahaba, the companion, did not experience something like a car, something like a two bedroom flat, nothing like that in their own time, nothing like a shower, pipe. They, it is only where they take water from, nothing like a silly fan, nothing like air condition. Nothing like a telephone in their time. When did they even uh, introduce this telephone by even using it? Wasn't that about our subject that even with the uh, uh, cause of it? So, you can now see, don't be surprised, oh, something else will come that our own generation have never even used. Our generation, not our time, oh, generation, uh, this generation will finish like this, and that's it, will come. They will not, they will not, there will be nothing like it, even car, but nobody can imagine what will be. Nobody can imagine what uh, it could be. So all these are not innovation that Islam is talking about. All those ones is for your, our own life. If you like, buy motto. If you like, no matter you don't offend Allah. You don't offend the Prophet. If you have, if you have billion, and you insist in me, I don't go buy car. You used to have force. Allah did not Allah will not question you for that one. But the video we are talking about is the video on the deen. It's the video in the deen. Allah said in the Quran, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, uh, Surah Al-Ma'idah, uh, verse 3. Allah said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, that, Al-Yawma akmalitu lakum dinakum. Today Allah is making this, uh, this word for the Prophet that, Al-Yawm, today, akmalitu lakum dinakum. I have completed your deen for you. That is, nothing else again will be added into the deen. Wa atmamtu alaykum ni'imati. And I have perfected my blessing. You can see, Allah has seen and signed Islam for us. And I, 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 I accept Islam. I endorse Islam as a deen for you. From this verse, there is no addition, no subtraction in the deen. All we just need to know is that how did the Prophet introduce the deen to us? Anything you want to engage yourself in to have a reward, you got have to ask that I want to be doing this, maybe this prayer, or this sadako, or I want to do something like this. Anything related to the deen, wallahi, it must be uh, initiated according to the deen. Failure to do so, one can fall into bidia. And bidia, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that uh, in Hadith 5. So I'm mentioning at the study at the five because of our students that are here in at this five. Uh Prophet Musa said that men had yasa fi amurina hada male samino fa warodu. Whoever established anything in this thing, you can see that word though it's a divine promise from the Prophet direct. Men had yasa fi amurina hada. Whoever established into this thing. Male samino, what wasn't there before? For our own do it will be rejected. It will be what? It will be rejected. So if as a Muslim and we had this word from the Prophet that read, Wallahi, we have to think twice before we engage ourselves in anything called Ibadah. 
apart from the compulsory one that we have known, if you want to also to be trying to let me be doing these two as a means of closeness, closing to Allah, you have to know the source. And the poet as well said, the poet as I narrated by Aisha, he said that, whoever did a deed, does any deed, maybe not villa, maybe a scam, anything that it is in the deen, whoever engaged in a deed, Laysa fihi amuruna, our command to do so, our permission, that is, there must be the permission, there must be a permission from the Quran or the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad before we can do anything in this day. You can see the word of the prayer like that. Many amila, whoever amalan engage in a deed like this, lays a fee amuruna. And our permission to do that thing is not there. For our Lord do it will be rejected. It will be rejected. That is, there is no single deed, no single engagement in this thing. Somebody will engage himself with or busy with, saying he's doing ibadah, and it is not traceable to the Quran and Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad. Wallahi, one is just wasting his time. That is why in the hadith of uh, Abu Dawood. It is there where it also says that Inna Allah hajaba tawbata an kulli sa'i bi bid'a Allah blocks the means of accepting the repentance of all innovators. If somebody engages in the bid'a, you are doing bid'a like this. The Prophet said that Allah will not forgive the person. That is the anger of Allah is upon the person. Allah will not accept his repentance until he divorces that bid'a. Bidia is not something someone will be doing and saying, yeah, I'm doing this to you, under the under the No, you go and leave that Bidia, they say you are doing, and continue your Ibadah. Because you decide that you say Shirik or Bidia. When they call you Bidia, and Shirik they are referring to, when they say Shirik, but if they use another word, Bidia, they are talking about Shirik. Because Bidia is an act of saying, Allah did not send the Prophet the whole message, you help Allah to hard to this Islam. Bidya, the definition of Bidya is an act of saying that this verse that we read earlier, that at any aliyama, at much lakum di nakum, you are telling that don't mind Allah Jari, Prophet Muhammad did not deliver all the message, so you help him to bring the remaining one. That is why you are adding that into the deen. Let us now look at the deen today and Muslim today, what they call Ibadah for people. Bidya in everything. Bidya in many things. And anytime the Prophet has want to do, Kutuba or salmon, he used to say that fa inna kulla mudasatin bidia wa kulla bidiatin dolala wa kulla dolala tifinna. All the kutuba of Prophet Muhammad, and during the time of Prophet Muhammad, there was no single innovator. There is no single innovator. There is no single act of bidia. If anybody tries to to do so, immediately they will correct him. When, people, when some people went to the house of the Prophet and asked his wife that, how does the Prophet pray? Because they want to be doing prayer too. You know the Sahaba, the way they love Ibadah. They want to also, they, they, don't, they see all them there and say, this one is too small. Let us go to his house and go and ask his wife. Maybe there's another Islam one, he's, in, he's even doing it again. And when they got to the wife, the wife told them that, you not do any Islam thing, you know. That's the thing that is preaching to you. That is what he's practicing at home too. And I told now say yeah, they are three. One say, oh. Now because he's the prophet Jari, and I'm because it's a prophet, we are not prophets. Let us use stress of Ibadah, kill ourselves. That was where one decided that as from today, oh, I will not touch my wife again. I want to be up till I die. You can see that. He want to he want to turn touching of wife <laughs> to something else to himself. He want to create video with that. Because that was not the way, that is not the way it is written down in the scripture. And I want to say that, as from today, I will not eat again, I will be fasting till I die. The third one said that, ah, as from today, I will not sleep in my life again. All my everyday not are good. The prophet now asked them, allow me to have what they are saying. He now came out, he said, ah, who are those that are saying this and this and this? And I said, we are the one. He now called them, said, Come, 
You see me by your prophet. Me, I fear, I fear Allah than you. I worship Allah. Me, as I worship Allah and I got, I got married. I have wife. I'm doing Ibada, I'm touching my wife. I'm doing Ibada, I'm sleeping sometimes, I'm not even wake up in the midnight. So, that was what prompted the Hadith where he said that, Faman Rodiba and Sunnati Falaysa Minni. Whoever deviate from my Sunnah, Wallahi, he said that Falaysa is not among my tradition. Once you deviate like this, you are doing something the Prophet did not introduce to us, Wallahi, Ila Adim. You are not among the member of Prophet Muhammad. If you do not even have fear of, you know, let's all say somebody did not even have fear. If you do not even have fear, have fear of the day of judgment, where the Prophet himself proved that some certain people, they will not drink from the lake water. The day that the sun will come down to our head like this, some people, they are sweat, they are sweat to become a river that will sink them to the neck. From their toe like this, he now be coming up like this. But their sweat you new. Know, not that a river will now come to their feet, it is their own sweat. The water that is coming out from their body. Hey, sit down. The water that will be coming down from their body will now be like a river that some people will even sink and reach their neck like this. Everybody will be tasting. Everybody. He now said that he, that it will be in front of a lake water. And if anybody that has the opportunity to come there will surely drink from that water. If you reach that place, you will drink. And if not just one and sing a finger like this, you just touch the water like this on your tongue like this, well, life will not be tasty again. You now say some Muslims will come, they will drink water. So some people not too will now be coming from afar. If the prophets we know that ah, these people that are coming, they are Muslims. Because you will see the sign of being a Muslim in them. And those that are coming too, they will also see that, ah, that is Muhammad. They will be rushing to come and meet him. As they are rushing to come and meet him like this, he said they will just block them. Bam, the magician will just come. Pew. He, the poet, will now be asking those that block them that, ah, in Nahum Minni, they are my German, they are Muslim. They will now reply him that, in Nakala Tediri, my bad dad in another hadith, in Nakala, Teddy Rima had us bad. Ah, you are just seeing them as your Jama, as a Muslim. You, the prophet, when you left, you did not know what they have established into the day. You can see the problem now. You did not know what they have innovated into the day. Wallahi, wallahi, people of innovation, they are, they are worse than the Yehudi and the Nasara. They are the ones that one need to be very careful of. You preach to them, advise them, talk to them, show them the word, 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 word of Allah. The Prophet will see if Allah wants to use them. Wallahi, bidya, no matter how small it is, let us avoid it. Even if we do not have knowledge of it, let us ask that, Salaam alaikum, I'm doing so, 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 as I hope it is allowed. Because many as far as we know, so, as already even, you know, distributed now today, they will give it number. They gave it number. If you have not met up to the to particular number like this, you will believe that your, that prayer will not be accepted. If not, why would somebody be dragging rules and time of salah will come, you will not join the jamaah until you finish the number is trying to count? Abi. All the number of Prophet Salam of his ibadah, the, the highest one is hundred. There is no prayer, there is no prayer of one hundred and one in the prayer of the Prophet. It's the Gifar. Somewhere he said hundred, somewhere he said seventy, somewhere he said thirty-three. You can never see as count that beyond hundred. If the 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 largest, the longest number is hundred in the din. But today now. You will see Jan Latif, 6,666. Lai 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 15,713. Abi, Yan Latif, 77,000. I remember that time they give me, uh, I want to blame the Shetan Rajim. It is prayer, not Kali. What we just be saying that, I want to blame the Shetan Rajim, take one Tesbah. That's why we draw the rub the Tesbah. And they gave me one million. 
Now I should make sure I finish one million, maybe between one month or two, two months. Well, like that time, I not even busy doing any as part of my life again. Now, who should buy the drug? When I call it like 500,000, maybe after some, maybe three weeks, I'll just like wait to. The prayer I'm doing, that like, everywhere come dry, I come broke. <laughs> because they told me that, that, time, that when you are doing this prayer, you will broke. Oh. So, try to drag the thing fast, fast, so that your superness will not long. Now, here yeah, I was like, I want to close to Allah <laughs> to do Ibadah. See, somebody will be closer to Allah and be also staffing. Ah, me, I bet, me, I know this prayer again. No? And yeah, that's why I just drop all those things. Today, they have given number to many prayer. If we start from number last time, you will realize that, ah, we don't go far. So, what we just need to know is that, ah, uh, Bidia, it is what they established into the deen that opposes what the Prophet brought to the Ummah. And the definition of this uh, of it as well, according to what is written in this book, they say that uh, Ali Bidi Atu uh, in, the, in the book that they called Ali Wajis Fi Akida Salaf Soli. Now, so I'm mentioning the name, of, the name of the book to other people that are also listening to us. That thought behind the heart, this about and Nabi Bidia, it is what they innovated, established after the demise of Prophet Muhammad. When you hear yeah, Bidya, just know that they are saying that it was it, it was after the Prophet that he come to the din. Even greeting, greeting, there's Bidya in greeting today. Juma Mubarak, that used to be that I Abi Juma, Juma Mubarak, Nabidya. Many Muslims today, now they will text you message early morning on Friday. Idi Mubarak, Juma Mubarak. Many people did not know. They did not know. <laughs> Juma Kerim, Juma Mubarak, Abi Juma. Get everything. It is Bidia. Once they say Bidia, they are telling you that it is it wasn't established or introduced by the Prophet. Likewise, not uh, practiced by the generality of the companion. So, uh, and what what led to Bidia? Meaning, uh, why it is self desire. Somebody will just say that she be here is Allah I'm calling. I not even call Shoguna. I bet they call you Allah. You is in that. Mamtudia, mean a din bad al kamel. What they brought into the din after the din has already completed. Wa iya kulu amorin la muyati ala fi lihi delilun sharayu mean al kitabi wa sunna. It is what they brought into the din without evidence in the uh, of Sharia. There's no proof of Sharia on it. So. Therefore, uh, we should try to uh, desist away from any act of media. Now, let us look to the word of the companions, what they said about innovators, so that we'll be able to know how to guide ourselves. And if you see somebody that is guiding himself away from, away from a particular innovator, you know, you understand what the person is trying to do. And call uh, Amir ibn Muminin, Umar ibn al-Khattab, radiallahu anhu said, Yati unasun. Yujadilunakum bishubuhati the Quran, Kuduhum bisunani, fa in as aba sunani alam bil kitabi bi kitabila. Ah Umar, the second Khalifa, or your law ta'ala anim say that Yati Unasun time will come, some people will come to you. That is in the later world, some people will come to you. Yujadilunakum bishubuhati the Quran. They will be debating with you, they will be dragging with you, they will be opposing you, Bishop in the Quran, with the confusing verses, with that, the, 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 the confusing in the Quran. You know, Allah said that, something like, Famine Umun Umun Kitab, Wa Okaru, Ntashabiat, Wa Aman Levina Fi Kulubi in Zaydun, Fa Et Tabiuna, Men Tashabaha Minium. I want to remember that verse. That way, Allah said that. Al Quran, it's some part of it is very straight, direct. Why part of it is somehow confusing? That you need to be you need a learned person to, 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 to discuss it to teach somebody. So Allah now said that, but those that they have problem of art, those that have sickness in their mind that they are not ready, yet It is that confusing one they will be using as an excuse. And that is why when uh, 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 the hadith of Aisha, when the prophet, prophet was reading this verse, I mentioned now, when he read it, this verse, he now said, 
Tashaba, I don't remember the verse of that hadith, but what is in the, the text of the hadith, but the meaning is that if you see those that are following the confusing verses, the confusing verses, they are the one that Allah is referring to. This is away from there. There are verses, so that is the thing that Abdullah ibn Umar, Umar was, was even saying to that time will come, some people will come to you, they will not even quote direct, direct verse, direct hadith, so that confusing one that requires to sit down for many times to do the search, it is known that now we bring it to you. Uh, when you are talking about the, the Jama'ah that sect, sect in Islam is not good, I, saw, I came across one tablig, it was telling me that the tablig was stated by the Prophet. I said, where is the evidence? He said, Bali Guani Walawaya. So that is Bali. The word Bali is the league. Imagine. And that was not the problem I was saying, talking about. You can see why. It's like when I was saying, extend my greeting to somebody, as an example. You now, if you now choose the word extend, you now call yourself extender. He <laughs> 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 now said, the extend comes from the prophet. So that is how they will be taking the confusing words that it is talking about something else, but they will translate it to something else. So the Sahaba said we should be very careful with those people that when they come to us, you to undo them with the Sunnah of the Prophet. You undo them. It is only the Prophet we can follow, we can have peace of mind. Any Shehu, any Askar, any Nakari, not just, not just. Just find as I have a sooner, I am the kitab in law. Those that are following the sunnah of the prophet, they are the ones that have knowledge past everybody. Now, you just learn like this now. The answer that this thing you are doing, yes, it is right. The prophet did it. Shikina, you can see the confidence. Once you just know what you are doing, uh, as you are eating like this with your hand, like this, where do you see? It? Yes, it is sunnah. The prophet he ate with his hand. You see evidence. But those that have already put their time in problem, they will not be going in a task to look for evidence, just fabricate something and use. So, uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, the son of Umar, was also saying that, Is that like when they told him about the first set in Islam, he said, Is that like it, like Once you, if you go back to your house and see those that are innovators, Fakibiruhum anna ibn Umara, mini umbarihum. Told them that uh, me, the son of Umar, I desist away from them. They are not my people. Once a Muslim engaged in Bavia, Wallahi, it's no, it's no more your fellow Muslim. It has now become to the level of you looking at ourselves. But we are lying in case of our Iman. Wahum mini hum burahau, burahau mini. And those, and they too, they are no more my fellow brother, Muslim in Islam. Because the Bavia that we are, they are doing is very powerful. Abdullah ibn Abbas, Uri Allah Ta'ala and also say that, La tujali su hala le hawa. Do not sit down with people of self desire. It is Bidya. Because self desire, they are the innovators, they are following their mind. What their mind says is good. What they are saying is good. The Sahaba, they are warning us against a way from innovators. And we Muslims of today, all we are just care for is how to just sit down. If you are praying so that, we are together. We are not together. Because as we are praying so that, immediately the Bidya is eradicating it for you. It is until you leave the video before Allah will start writing your, 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 writing your word, your name down that you are, you are worshipping. So see the Sahaba now, see what they are saying, all of them, what they are saying. Don't sit down with them, say. And it is, in the, it is in the Quran, Surah Nisa. Allah said that where you see people that they are doing something else that against Allah, don't sit down with them. Or else, or you, also, you also have the, 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 the same punishment with them. So he said that, Sitting with people of innovation, it kills art. Your, your art will be polluted. So, and many tabi that the Asa al Basari also said that Allah Tabara Kawa Ta'ala and Ya Asana li asa bihawa bitawaba. Allah reveals to accept the repentance of people of innovation. Allah will not accept their prayer. Wallahi. So we that we are not doing media for now, let us stop here. If anything that we want to do, we should also look ourselves. Even if you did not know and you do it, it will not be acceptable. It will not be acceptable. 
I should not even know, and I will never accept it. But if you let her now know, no punishment for you, it depends. There are some media that if nobody tells you and somebody dies like that, they are dead, they will not be punished. Maybe the media that falls in our account, we call it our account, maybe like ablution, maybe like uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, scout, they are doing some and some things like that. They ask number like that, that they are not fall under Tawi, yeah. under Akida. So they are under pardonable. But, and we are talking about the critical one. So, Allah. So many, many evidences from all the Sahaba and all that, that people of innovation, once you, but you know that somebody will not be, no, 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 no. Ah, you do be there. You know, no, you like that though. There are conditions to apply on the person. You approach him, you talk to him, you show him evidence, because he may not know. He may not know. But once that you know that this thing is not good, you approach the person in a very polite way. But if now they are like that, it's a self-centered person. It's not ready to leave. What he's doing? Uh, I, you are applying the law. And if you don't apply the law, the, find your way of man, man, managing the person. It depends on the level of Iman. This is the position of all the Sahaba, the position of Prophet Muhammad. Could you believe that the Prophet even instructed that anytime people of innovation comes, the, pre, the leader in that time should be killing them. The law, the Sharia on people of innovation that, that, that they should bear their head where they are using Sharia. President, the government or the authority, yeah, the authority, not everybody, the authority will arrest the person. Say you want to repent, or you are not. If you want to repent, they will leave him. And must never do the video again. I want to say no. Now, so I inherited it from my great father, Subhanahu wa Bika. I care my ass on me that. So, this is what we are preaching. So finally, the act of using tesba. Let me use tesba to finalize everything. Tesba has to teach like that. Shibimi, are you agree that the Nasara and the Yehudi, they are Catholic, are they? The Christian and the Jew. Are they not Catholic? Are they are Muslim? They are Catholic. And Allah says they are our enemy in the Quran. That is to so Adu we, wa Adu wa kuma uliya. Don't choose my enemy and your enemy as best friend. It's referring to the Jew and the Yehudi and the Yehudi and the, the Nasara and the Yehudi. I mean now, how will you feel if you realize that the Tesuba we are using today was established by Catholic? That was even if you go to something that God will the the founder of Rose. Now Catholic they are in their church. Now you see the number of Tesuba in Muslim house today. We even have them in multiple, 1,000, 500, 200, 150. What are we doing? For Tesla to have even come from such angle, supposed to even, because of that last time, supposed to eat Tesla. Talkless of nothing, it is the instrument that our forefathers used to fight war in their time. So we need knowledge. We need knowledge. Uh, you know, they are they were calling some spiritual people something. They are now fighting war. When they have to fight war with all these idol worshippers during that time, like now, it's more than four in Shokoto. When during his own time, he fought many battles. With, uh, he says he's fight, fighting with people of Shidik. He that is fighting with people of Shidik too. If they use Paro, if they use Paro, if they use Tesuba, if they call, if they call names of these all those traditions, traditions, something like this. So, and they say, so Shidik is fine, Shidik. So, because Tesuba doesn't come from Islamic source, uh, source, you're supposed to even dislike using it. But when today, everybody have it in their cars, in their house, you see in front of their glass like this when you enter auto. But around the light, uh, it is reducing now. People are now trying to know. So, that one alone is okay for us to know that anything that's come from the Shidik or the Moshidik. Or any act of media, we should desist away from it, and we should try to know about anything we want to be busy doing, even our prayer or our scout. You see, like how the Quran water now, the Prophet gave us that whoever that is saying it, but you never strike strike the person, you will be very protected and that. But you not put number. You can be saying like how the Quran from morning to night. If, as you see that like this, if it comes to your mind, no number. But our people now, it has number. You hear the secret of La Haula, 
seventeen thousand seven hundred and seventy three. See the problem. This is what somebody will now engage himself with. If he has not reached that seventeen thousand, well, if they call for salary, he will not stand up. Because you believe that that thing he is doing will never be acceptable until that thing complete. They will be praying in his face like this. He will stand there, dragging the shuba to meet up the number. Don't be surprised when people will drag the shuba in salat. They are on the staff floor. They are on the staff floor like this. They are going to be dragging the shuba. Their man is not there. So now you now come and say all these people now, they say hey, what they are doing, it doesn't mean we should manage ourselves. We should be uh, managing care. As me as standing beside you, the virus will be for me. My, 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 my spirit, my body cannot take it. But no matter what, I will first approach the person, we will talk, we will discuss, maybe you did not know. So we should be very careful as we are protecting ourselves from all this we have been saying. Let us work on it for our children too. As they are going to Islamia, as they are learning, we should be educating them that don't engage in video. If you see any prayer that you want, let me see you too. Let me know you too. My brother sent me a prayer from the from US sometimes ago. That man I'm helping to look at this prayer. He has a little issue. Normal, normal thing that, normal, that happens to no man be. So our family now sent him a prayer. Yeah. He now sent to me that, madam, help me to look at, uh, into this prayer. What is the meaning of the prayer? Wallahi, when I look into this prayer, now Abako, you know Abako? Denga. Now Denga, they write, they write, they wrote in that paper. Yeah. If you engage in that prayer, I'm very sure it will add to his problem. But because he not he did not know the meaning of what he writing there, but you can, you can just read Arabic. So if you now engage in that one like this, bad upon bad upon bad, now you're falling on somebody, now you're saying, yeah, things are not changing, how are you going to change? So anything you did not know, you should ask. Even a prayer they give you, you say, yeah, this thing is good, ask. Those that you believe that you know. So that we be well guided. May Allah put our Allah guide us. May Allah accept our ibadah. May Allah forgive our sin. Uh, forgive the one we did deliberately and the one that we did uh, out of knowledge. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, Umar Muhammad. Ash'adu Allah, Mila, Mila, Ant. Astaghfirullah, Mila, 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 Ah. <laughs> so I don't like. Ah, uh, replying salama of people of innovation. Well, I think it's good. Uh, Yehuda, you use your voice. Responding to the salama of people of of Bidia is an act of endorsing him to still be a Muslim. If you are responding to Teslim or people of Bidia, that you know, the difference between I don't know the person. Somebody you do not know. It is it, it against the Sharia to be to be thinking Abi China Alu Bidia before I go respond. No. If you don't know anybody, it's harm to somebody. But the person that you know, you even approach by yourself. You show him how the thing, thing, the things that, that uh, he is doing are not uh, are not good and he insisted. If you are still responding to Salama of the person, it's like it's an act of weak iman. It's an act of you know sometimes somebody will say this person is not supposed to be answering the salam because I don't want problem. That's why I'm responding to him. It is an act of weak iman. No offense, there is no punishment for you. But if you are still accepting the person as a Muslim, Allah, you are the same thing in the Sharia. So better to have it in your mind that because my, my iman knows reach that level and the fear of Allah. That's why you are, you are responding to the person. That you know is doing video. Wallahi, video. As Allah will not accept any deed that has shirik, as that will not accept any deed that has bidya. So people of bidya, they are as well as mushrik. They are as well as mushrik. And responding to their salama, if you, know, if you believe that you are responding then they are saying Muslim. In the Sharia, in the Quran, Allah said, Innakum izan misluhum. 
you will be you will be you will be seen as them to inside of Allah. But if you are trying to say, my man, you know, carry it because I don't just just be on your day. So that is a sign of a weak iman that your iman is weak in that level. But for me, oh, me I want salam to you. I don't expect salam if my iman reach that level. Even possible self I can be excusing myself from the way the person used to go. Even the person used to go to a particular mosque, I can stop going to that mosque. A mosque just because of just only one person to show that you see it is written in this book. This the tabi, the strength of the Sahaba is among them that say that. If you see an innovator, people will be there coming like this in the same street you want to pass. They say you should turn back, go and follow another person, another place. It's very dangerous. Don't be they don't, they, Bida is not undo merely by the Prophet. Too. It's not something like, if you see the verse in the Quran, we are allowed to say that the life of those that established things in the deen will be a very miserable life. They will live a ridiculous life in the sight of Allah. So is that the person you now you're saying is a Muslim? No bad, no, it should be no nothing bad. Not, he bad you. Na mo bad. So we just be praying for them that may Allah guide them and Allah in case of our iman too. Yeah. But we should try to do our own work in anyone that we know that are doing things wrongly. We should try to do our best, show them the best proof, advise them, continue talking to them to some extent before you now later take your position. Now. Oh, I just want to know my question is okay. uh, on this issue of the because it is those who have opportunity of from our own knowledge, the majority of all have opportunity of coming to this local part. Mm. Uh, we have this privilege of trying to do what is different between this and this. Yeah. In my place, nobody talk about nothing like it here. Yeah. Mm. Islam is Islam. Mm-hmm. See how it is so far. You go to Islam. And then Islam. So, but when we come here and we are learning this, maybe sometimes we take it home. If you are trying to present these things to my people, mm-hmm. you are enemy. You can be, you can be dealt with. Mm-hmm. But that is not the issue. The question is that even when we are here and we are hearing this, there are three people who have a strong mind that it, <coughs> either they don't want to hear what you are saying mm-hmm. or they hear it and be using it against you. Mm-hmm. But some proof like this have been read from the book, references have been made to let you know. Okay, not that the person that is arguing or that want to stay where he is, not that he have knowledge. He is a mm-hmm. he is just a Muslim. But somebody who has made some Richards or learn that we okay, this person learn. He's telling you that it's correct, like a teacher is correcting you. Yeah. You are saying your answer is the best. All those things. So I used to be feeling hungry mm. inside my mind when you have been told. And you have been giving reasons why this should not be like this, should be like this. And you are proving so stubborn. Sometimes they want to fight. Mm. Sometimes the insult that you will the person will be your brother or your best friend that you cannot fight back with, mm. or somebody that you are respecting so much. So what do you do? And if, you know, firstly, we want to thank Allah for hearing the word of Allah and entering his soul. It is Allah's guidance. As you are hearing the word of Allah and you are trying to put into practice, those that they are hearing the truth and they are getting angry and insulting, it is how Allah programmed their soul. So, guidance, idaya belongs to Allah. So, as they are like that, the only thing you can just be doing for them is just be praying for them to be seeking guidance for them. Because it is not that, you know, the year and the memory of people, of people, the misguided people, they used to listen to things. It's different from the way that we used to listen to things. So, because Shaitan will be pumping this thing at the back of their head, not down. To how we are perceiving it. So there's nothing we can do. But the only thing we can just do that if something happen, you will just approach the person or the people in a very best way. That ah, it might be better if you can be doing this thing like this. So because that is how the prophet we should be doing it too. That if you will not do it the way the prophet do it, 
it's like somebody is doing something that comes from his own desire and desire self desire is not uh, what allow even happy with so if you just put yourself down like that and they attack you they abuse you they insult you you don't need to even fight back because you want to guide them you are calling them to the guidance and they are talking with you you just leave the matter for Allah and be praying for them because the, what do you okay, what do you want to what, what you want to fight for? I said you are doing this thing, it's not good. Leave it so that it can be people of the follower of the prophet. You are fighting with me. We are not talking of money, not uh, our business, not even not you not see my property. No collect your wife. You not collect my wife. <laughs> so as I tell you, I refuse, I'll just be looking at you and be praying for you. So by the if Allah now you know if Allah has been it if the person Allah has destined the person to be guided to live this life while even at tomorrow you will die. Today, today, tonight, you will accept the fact and you will enter Janda. So we just pray our own is to even the prophet has the prophet cannot guide somebody. For him is just to preach and go. So we approach them, we talk to them. If they fight us, we will not fight back. We will still continue saying the same thing. That me, I'm not fighting you. This is what I'm calling you to. You to hear see this reference. There, there's somebody that uh, said me that I was even telling that I was giving the proof. But uh, this one that you are doing now, that you are getting angry at me like this. What is your proof? You say you go and call out the Sheikh, come. So definitely, what you are doing by yourself, you cannot defend it. Once you go and invite some set of people, you see that such persons are ignorant. No matter, there is no proof you want to give him. You, know? you cannot even read it. You see, man? something you cannot even read and understand until you, can, until you go and hear from what their <laughs> coordinator oh, told them. So that one is a big problem for such person. You we'll just be looking. Only, only <laughs> you we'll just be looking at the person, yeah, yeah, and you'll be going on your own to avoid problem. And you'll be praying for the person. And I mean, I'll guide this person. Maybe, maybe the prophet pray for Omar. Omar before, now, very strong uh, non believer now. Even the day he accepted Islam, he was going to go and even kill the prophet. And once he just got there, he met his own sister. He didn't want to tell her, like, ah, this thing is so beautiful like this. Yeah, wait, what's in the read? Don't hide it, I read it again. But before that, the prophet has been praying for Allah because they said that there was two women at that time. It was now praying that Allah should even bring the one that will be useful for Islam among the two. If Allah should bring women, bring the Khatab. So we'll be praying for them that Allah should use them. Somebody like them would, by the time they change like this, if case not taking they even pass you that are even preaching for them. The person that preached for me, that, ah, my lama, because this thing you are doing with your father is not good, though. I say, how? Because me, I have the reputation of, I want to die with my father that time. I was even saying, even, ah, on the day of judgment like this, if people are going to the back of the prophet, me, that the back of my father, I won't go stand. That was our orientation. That our father will be laughing. He's very happy with that word. But the day that man, that man that even preached for me, we not even spend 15 minutes. Just say, yeah. Just ask me one question. Know from that question, and I now use the word. What I was trying, what I was trying to say is that <coughs> this brother, this uh, man that preached for me, that me are now read for that, do the search for that. If I tell you today, he's now following the book of innovation, God. He, the man of that affair now, is now defending people that are even at. People that are even abusing the Sahaba. People that are even abusing the Sunnah now. Hmm. Are the one that this Sahaba is now defending. And see me, that Allah use him as a cause for me to know the, way, the right way. So if care is not taking, somebody that you are preaching for today to do the right thing, if care is not taking, by the time Allah guide a person like this, well, Allah, he can go far than you that he met there. But it will, be, it will still be, the reward will still be in your record as you are the cause for the guidance of this person. And in as much as we not even engage in Shirik or Bidia, somebody will have his reward. Because Shirik and Bidia consume reward. So that is the best thing we can do. Advice, talk to them. I want to know here. Just leave them on their own and be praying for them. And everybody will be going on his own, dead, dead. So we are lying in case of our Iman. Now. Yeah. The, the Sure. Uh, the issue of uh, the Dao, Sadaka, 
after somebody died. Die. No. Somebody is ah, it's a very, it's a very big topic too. Mm-hmm. Once we discuss it as well. In, in my place, it used to be three days. Seven, seven days, days for one days. days. Uh-huh. Now when the fight don't come gradually, and people are taking messages like this home. The, the, the one that I remember now, they now step down 40 days. Because it's a cost, big cost to the family, you know what to spend on seven days. Mm. When you are not, not that you prepare for this death, and now it's coming. Then now they are now shifting to 40 days to have time to prepare well. <laughs> so we will pass the 40th day. <laughs> they <laughs> want to wait for market. You know, we have nine, nine days market in our very popular market. Mm-hmm. So they let better hold market so that we can buy this in the market. You are not, you are not taking something that you said is real. It must be 40, you not take it together for the three days oh. until the job cost of market. If this thing was true, okay. it must be 40 days. Why are you waiting for market or something like that? Mm. Then, like in my own case, yeah. my mother died when I was like 2007. Yeah. We did Sadaka for my mother. Mm. I was still in school with the father here. Then, about five or six years ago, my stepmother died. I come here go already. I, I get to know all this. Mm. And I said, I'm not going to participate in this. But because she's not my direct mother, mm. I face a lot of uh, arbitration. Mm. The minute I come back, they not going say, you don't see no one to Saraka. We have done our own. Let's come and view mosque. Now come and view mosque. Because from that time, I told you, when my father would die, mm. I'm alive. I will not do it. Become a big team. From that time, I am now paying monthly uh, salary to my father. And I am making it people, all of them, to know. Mm-hmm. I don't send you because now they want to their own gift. I don't go follow and do ah. this attack. Yeah, so we now have that a mosque in my frontage that we are building actually. Mm-hmm. Because it's like the team is also hitting them. Because the, I am telling you, we used to borrow money. You, the and the person that have small in the family used to suffer because you will uh-huh. buy cow, you know, so you must do <laughs> things that will run into a million plus or uh-huh. like that. First of all, for even an average family, for even that you have one, they don't even have one thousand before their father or mother died. But they must sell for the for 40 days. Uh-huh. They will share a portion of money. Uh, you are a man, you are a woman, you are your husband. Uh, he don't, he, he, he don't they work, you don't marry. So many things like this. So we have seen it. Me, I have seen it. This thing does not have a way of helping who have died. At all. People will still come and insult you down. Which guy said that guy where people don't see full job? <laughs> I tell you, for a place like this. this. Because the, and the things that you buy, they want to cook. And you start like this. You want to see too. women pack, stealing your food to the house. And you can't before you too. They use the uh, opportunity uh, to be stealing from you. You will see me direct. People that come from something like supposed to be a bad habit, they will steal from there. Uh, so many bad things happen. Some some end with fight for the family, some end with disunity because of maybe one person did not pay how they supposed to pay. So many and, things. And there's no there's no preaching there that are preaching for them in that place. The people that are supposed to be a man, that are supposed to be preaching, I did not want to benefit. So when I will read the uh, uh, two issue, I collect uh, five hundred naira per issue. In the only, in the only salary, I will pay you now. Sixty. Now that business is enough. I don't go far. Go your town like this. The family was providing me for thirty thousand to read Quran that day. The person that died did not want to read Quran. His children did not obey finish Quran for that day. They will say they finish Quran. Ah, ah. This is the Quran that actually, when you see that they are reading, you see that some people are reading rubbish. Because mean, they want to read three is who are collecting one five. Or read four is who are. Not do blue, 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 blue. All that reading, if you sit down, let's say read the Quran, the thing like this. <laughs> Me, I don't know if you finish three is who for one, uh, one hour. city. <laughs> like this. I will be tired. But you see people really reading eight, five, six. <laughs> The way who say they feel they want to read from your own, maybe you can divide your 500 naira uh-huh. into them, something like that. So this is what is happening. So if the imam that's supposed to talk about this is at the end of the day, the money, it's benefiting. he's going to collect something no less than 5,000 from reading Quran and reading Utuba. Mm-hmm. When they want to read Utuba like this, 
Even women that are stay far away, they will come and be putting money. Even those that are Christian relatives, they will force themselves to wear veil and come and draw money. And imam, these are imam and uh, members money. So how will we talk about this? <laughs> so it's a big problem in our own side, in our side. No, in Yoruba is not. Yes. Just you know that Yoruba is not that they will just be fine. You no, know, they can be mocking you for not doing normal normal and it's a, it's a burial ceremony. Yeah. But it's not, it's not up to so this. Some uh, of us we have this challenge, even as we are sitting here, even when we have known the truth, but that we are not having the guts when it will happen to our father or our mother to say we know we do because they can't beat when they will beat you. <laughs> they can't fight when they will fight you for refusing to contribute or participate. The insult. You know, you can just only get it. Maybe we should discuss yeah. about that one tonight. For me, I've already made my mind. I'm already paying my price. Because it's only the father I have now. I've told him, I've told my brothers. That is my stand-up. Yeah, it's not because I don't have or I will not I be able to borrow or something. I want I to even know, know that you have been taking yeah. care of the father. Say, when he was even like that, he was not saying because... Do best. Uh -huh. yeah. So, inshallah, tonight, inshallah, we will use it as a, as a topic and discuss uh, about it, inshallah. Now, so I want to continue the podcast.